Hey guys, it's Steven at Charles Boyd Chevrolet. I just wanted to take a moment this morning and introduce you guys to the brand new 2021 GMC Yukon Denali that we have here. Uh, we actually just got this car in, satin steel metallic on the exterior color, uh, but this Denali is a gorgeous bit of uh, vehicle. So I just wanted to give you all a chance to take a look on the outside. The biggest key thing on the outside is just gonna be the signature Denali styling, the uh, chrome rims, the Denali front grille, and um, it's also got available power running boards, which is really nice, and I'll show that to you guys in a second. Uh, just take a good look at this thing. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous on the front of this car. Completely redesigned, 420. Um, a couple nice things that this one has as well, um, magnetic ride control, which if you're not familiar with that, uh, super nice feature on these vehicles monitors your road conditions as you're driving. I believe it's a thousand times every second and it's constantly adjusting the suspension to uh, the road conditions that are in front of you. So before you even get to that bump, this vehicle knows what you're gonna hit and it smooths it out for you so you don't feel that. Really, really nice. So the power running boards, I'll demonstrate those to you for a second. Um, when you open the vehicle, they automatically come down and then when you get ready to exit the vehicle, they will power fold back up as well. Um, another real exciting thing on these new trucks is the ex or, you know, exterior, but interior room in the back. 66% um, bigger. So those of you that are familiar with the previous generation Tahoes and Yukons, you know the, the uh, space you had behind the third row seat was rather limiting. So you've got four more inches back here, um, which is substantial. Uh, so really nice that they've upgraded that as far as the interior room. Another nice thing about this one, it has power folding third row seats. They go up and down with the power, which is really nice. And then the second row seats are gonna be power down. They don't go back up power, but they do power fold down. So that's also a really convenient feature. Um, tip these out of your way so you get a nice full line of sight when you're driving, which is also really convenient. And it's a uh, uh, bigger vehicle when you've got a lot of headrests in your way. So, um, but yeah, I know you saw the power uh, lift gate, which is really nice. You just have a button, you can hit it up front or back here and open and close the tailgate automatically and your, um, your back glass on this also opens as well if you don't need to open the tailgate so you can access the back without being able to pull the whole tailgate up. There we go. Step on over here and uh, let you guys look on the inside of the vehicle. I'm gonna start with the front, the drivers real quick. Um, I'm gonna let her get in here real quick and just show you that interior and the leather. Specifically on this Denali, something new they've done is this uh, stitching right here in particular on the seats. They call it fractal stitching. Uh, just a really nice feature, a good touch point. Um, you get different textures of the leather, which is really nice. Um, this particular one, all your safety features, four-wheel drive, brake controller, and everything is over here. With the brake controller, this vehicle also has the max towing package. So you've got the brake controller, oversized radiator. Um, you've got a two-speed transfer case, locking differentials. So some really nice things to help you uh, when you're towing your boat, trailer, camper, stuff like that. Um, Four-wheel drive controls are pretty standard, automatic, too high, four high, and four low. Uh, the safety features are really key on this, what I really like. You've got the blind zone monitoring, which goes in your side mirror. It lights up when you've got somebody beside you. But something really cool on this one with the blind zone, it's also got blind zone on your trailer too. So when you're pulling a trailer, that light's gonna light up when you've got somebody beside your trailer as well, which I think is a really cool feature. Um, then you've got the lane assist key. So what that does is uh, when you're on the road, it's going to monitor your lane. If you deviate from one side or the other, if you don't correct the vehicle, it will let you know that you're getting over and then it will actually screw you back in the lane, which is nice too. Uh, the forward collision alert is on this. Um, that basically monitors the car in front of you. You set a following distance. It will let you know if it senses that you are gaining distance on the vehicle in front of you and they're slowing down. And this actually has the automatic emergency braking too, where it will apply the brakes to the vehicle. They don't claim it will eliminate the crash, but it will either eliminate it altogether or severely lessen the impact because the brakes are being applied quicker than you yourself could apply the brakes, which is really nice. Um, hill descent control on this, that's another really good feature when it comes to uh, towing the camper, your boat or anything like that. When you're sitting on an incline or decline, it actually engages the brakes on the truck and the trailer. So you don't have any travel in the vehicle when you go to move forward or backwards. It releases them as it senses the vehicle's moving. So that's also really nice. Uh, and this one's got the auto stop feature, a gas saving thing. So when you come to a stoplight, stop sign, the vehicle cuts itself off. Um, you can disable it on this. I know some people like it, some people don't, but they do give you the option to cut that out if it's a feature that you don't necessarily care for. Um, also on this one too, let's see, I think that gets the safety features. You've got heads up display on this, which is really cool. 
it displays your speedometer, navigation, phone, radio, all kinds of information up on the windshield. I really like the uh, navigation directions in the windshield because then you're not having to look back and forth and up and down when you're driving down the road. You can keep your eyes on where, where it's most important. But, uh, also, I wanted her to take a view of the uh, camera views on the inside too. This one has nine different camera views, but the surround vision is what I really like. If you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, it gives you a 360-degree view around the vehicle as well as your rear view here. You can also go up the front of the vehicle and the back of the vehicle. Um, and if she pans up real quick too to the rear view here, this also has the uh, HD camera rear view here. You can see that that's actually a camera protected vision from the uh, display on the back of the vehicle. So you're of how to look through the vehicle, you're actually looking directly out the back, which is really nice. Um, and then we'll look in the back too as well. So this one has the standard bucket seating. So it's got climate control in the rear. It's got heated seats in the rear. Um, and then the really cool thing is the uh, big screens they've got in there. So we've got an internet streaming device connected in. Basically, you can stream Netflix, uh, your Roku, Hulu, any any stuff like that in the back seat. 12.6 inches on those displays too. That's really cool. Uh, and also the other really cool thing about those displays, when you're on a family trip, you, the passengers in the back can pull up navigation waypoints. And let's say you are 30 minutes outside of Knoxville and you tell your kids you want to go somewhere to eat. Well, they can actually look up all the restaurants where you're headed and send the directions to the front. So then you can add that in your waypoint. So one less thing the parents or the drivers have to take uh, control of, which I think is really nice. Plus, uh, the way I look at it, too, you won't have kids asking you to be there yet because they can look on their screen and see that, too. So, um, I know we're looking here, it's real quick, too. One touch point I absolutely love on these Denali's is that open pour wood. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually got wood grain to it. I mean, it's it's real wood, and it, it just feels great, and it complements that interior extremely well. Um, but like I said, guys, I just wanted to take a minute and go over the 2021 Yukon with you. I hope I've answered some questions. If you have any additional ones, feel free to comment on the video below. We'll be happy to answer those for you. Um, if you'd like to come in and see it in person, come by. We'd love to take you to test drive it and show it to you personally. But really appreciate you guys taking the time and watching this video for us. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Y'all take care.